Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're back battling in the 510 cash game streets. Buying for this game is $1,000. Hijack limps here, raise up ace king. Goes for the limp raise, interesting. Um, min clicks it. So they're loose and call lots of hands, but I don't know how often they're doing this. These min clicks are usually super strong. I'm actually just gonna flat this. This is pretty tight, but um, this flop will be pretty aggressive with the king of clubs, two overs, and gutter. So we'll probably be check raising this one to be willing to go with. And just see the full we take down. Open button, get three bet here, we'll flat ace eight suited. King, king five, the club. Um, versus this small, I'm gonna go ahead and float. Turn the flush draw. That's now. Uh, even versus big, I think with the nut flush draw, we get to call. Queen river. I might bluff jam this if he checks. Don't necessarily have a great one because I'm gonna block miss backdoor clubs. Uh, he checks, we're gonna go for it. Please fold. Not sure I love this, but really trying to put pressure on some of his hands here. The Arna King. And do get the bluff through. Um, here we open queen eight to get called. I'm going to go for check raise. We got the open ender and a diamond blocker calls. Uh, flush comes in on the turn. Well, that's small. Um, raises. I think with a good diamond, we get to call here 64 to win 309. River top hair check. Please check, please check, please check. That's 170. So not a very big size, but given the action, I definitely think thing is a bluff catcher um geez this is hard because we're getting a good price in this and those turn min clicks though and then they bet river just are like never bluffs though that's the problem so i block straights i block flushes oh man this one's a weird one just because we're getting such a good price too I think we fold, but I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Again, when well, we're getting such a good price, we don't have to win very often for it to be profitable. Button open, defense six five suited, some three betting two, check flop. Um, against a bigger size here, I think we're just gonna call. How about raising some two here? Uh, queen on the turn, check. Check, check, Jack River. And I'm going to block as a bluff here. Trying to replicate. I have an eight, maybe a river jack here. They have the ace eight. So good thing it didn't come diamond, diamond. That would have been bad. All right, raise a seven, big blind defend here, flop middle pair. Check back, deuce turn. Seems like a good turn card. Um, bets out, we'll call. Five river. Seems like an okay river. I wouldn't expect them to bet their 5x unless it's two pair or better or 5x of clubs. Um, so as played here, I think this is definitely a call. Ooh, they did have 5x of clubs. Unfortunately, like the one five I could think of them having that wasn't already beating us it was that one. Right, open queen jacket called here. Queen eight five, start with a bet. Deuce in the turn. I'm gonna make a tight check here. Deuce River. Uh, versus this small, I think we actually get to raise for value. And they snap fold. Yeah, Xeus spelled mini at the K. Here we open King 10, get called, betting half here on Ace Jack 3. Five turn. Um, could go either way, I'm gonna place a check. River 4. 
Uh, but it's out two thirds. So the problem is like we're gonna block some of the hands we want to have, like King Queen, Jack Ten, stuff like. And we even lose the King Queen, so we'll let it go now. Come King Jack, get called to flop the top pair here. Bet out. Uh, three of Hearts turn tight turn check. I think. Ten River seems okay. Bets out pot. Just gonna be a call here. Ooh, they turn the flush. Okay, so. Tough river card, but I think once we check turn, even up to pot, we get to call. Open here, defend queen seven. Uh, turn seven. I'm going to go ahead and bet out. An ace river check. So we are worried about some ace high. Particularly like the Ace of Hearts. Um, as played, I don't really think they have a 9 or a flush a ton, though. We've seen this guy has some bluffs. Uh, what bluffs would he have here? So the problem is, like, this is why the Ace is bad, is because, like, just the Ace of Hearts, it makes a lot of sense for him to have as played. Uh, we'd have to hope he has, like, Jack-10. King-Jack with a heart. I think I'm going to make a hero call here. Like I said, I'm mainly worried about having the Ace of Hearts as played. Yeah, we're good. There's pocket six as they turn to a bluff. Button open, call Ace four here. Flop top pair. We also have the backdoor nut spade here. Check, check, deuce turn. Oh, I'm going to check turn and maybe supposed to bet turn for value. They bet pretty easy call. I imagine we're calling any river. Obviously, some rivers better than others. Uh, straight comes in and flush, but we block both. Um, pots it as played. I think we have to call an ace. Yeah, we're good versus queen six. All right, opening is king suited. Get three bet. The only three at four percent. First time this heads up match we've seen this. Um, I think we just click back given their stack size to be willing to go with. So they start with like 60 blinds, ends up just calling. Um, good flop. Uh, I think we start small. I'd be more likely to check this if I had a diamond in hand, but we'll bet five turn. Same sort of thing here. I'm trying to think if I want to... I'm going to just jam this here. I think we could check back and get sneaky, but we're going to jam and see the fold. Starts with about 36 blinds. We're going to three bet, get called. Um, betting flop here with as much money in to go with, with how slow the SPR is. Turn, we just pick up the tons more equity. We're going to jam here. Fold's great if we get called, get there. Unfortunately, get it in bad and it can't improve. Uh, small one opens here, pre we call. We'll call versus third with a diamond over card. Turn to 10. A little something here. Uh, bet's decently sized. I think we get to call one more. Whew, what a run out. Might not give me much 10x either. Uh, do we get to raise or not? It's probably going to depend on the size they go with. I mean, I do have a diamond blocker. Um, versus pot and bigger, we probably don't. Um, here on the end, we will bet. Could maybe pot this or even over bet. But we're going to go for three quarters and just see the fold. Button open, defend king queen. It could do some three betting. We flop top pair, king nine two. Uh, bets out small, just gonna be a call here. Um, four turn check. Um, over bets, interesting. Uh, it's gonna call here. There are a lot of draws you can still have. You can have like heart draws and gutters. Uh, four river, seems like a very good river. I'm, in theory, I don't really think we can full, but if he goes like massive here, we do have to worry if he's bluffing enough. Um, now we block some of the missed gutters, but we don't block miss hearts. So first pot, not loving it, but this is just has to be a call. And he missed the five, six hearts. So he had the flush draw on the gutter. Fortunately, we're good. Open button, big blind, three bets. This will be a call. Uh, pretty good flop. Interesting one though. So ace, king, and 10. Less likely they have ace, king. We do lose the sets of kings and tens, which you don't block any of. Also, they can have some queen jack suited, although we block some with a queen. It's going to be really weird if we get triple barreled into, but um, definitely happy to continue for at least a bet here. Uh, four turn. That's 223. Uh, I think we probably want to just call here. 
Uh, River the straights, but clubs do come in. Probably have to call down with the queen if he has a flush. It's too bad because we, I mean, we have the ace of clubs too. So um, if they check, we probably can jam. Although it's hard to get called by worse. Like we have to, but it's just like I also don't think he checks a flush very often. And we have a flush blocker, so I think we get to jam this. Although it feels like it's very rare we get called. Um. So yeah, we're gonna go for this. And see the full take it down. Button open, small blind flat, squeezing queens out of the big blind. See a call. Three is the flop, see the ace out there. Um, I think multi way, especially in these like boards, we got checking, particularly at this hand. Uh, deuce on the turn. Shouldn't be tons of 3x out there, but still not great. Uh, once they pot it, we'll just be folding. All right, so we got cut off open, decide to flat fives here. Lovely flop. We're going to flop a set. Uh, pots it. Okay, so I think we mainly just want to be raising here. I don't think we want to be getting too fancy. So we'll put in the raise, especially when they pot it here. A lot of draws out here potentially have. They're, this player's probably going to, if they have like ace, queen, kings, aces, they're just going to rip this in. So here we go. Fives, ace, queen, hold, no runner, runner, no spade. Whew, okay, so got worried about the backdoor spades coming in. Very fortunate there. Massive cooler set versus top pair, top kicker. All right, YouTube, that wraps up our session here. So we played for about five and a half hours at 5, 10, 2, 5, and 1, 2. In the 5, 10 game, 413 hands, profit of 2,120. 2, 5, 695 hands, minus 145. 1, 2, 1,182 hands, minus 1.3K. Total profit today, plus 646. Felt like we were getting crushed all day because at 200 NL, we just lost like almost seven buy-ins. But uh, fortunately, ran pretty good in the 510, especially that hand right before the end of the session there. We had the set versus top pair, top kicker on the flop and got paid. So hope you enjoyed the video and the hands today. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to watch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.